This is a tutorial on how to make the debug menu work in Stalker Call of Chernobyl mod. Um, it's quite simple to do. So I'm going to show you how to do it through Steam, but you could do it with a regular shortcut. So create a Steam shortcut to Stalker Call of Chernobyl, so you can use the game overlay with it. And then in the target field, at the very end, you want to put hyphen. You would want to have a space after the sort of closed um, the last of the sort of inverted commas. So you want that's basically the end of the inverted commas space hyphen uh, DBG so Delta Bravo Golf and that's short for debug and then when you launch the game you can press escape and S when you're in the game and open the debug menu so I'll show you that now so I've just spawned in and I'm in the truck cemetery map and as you can see I'm military and I've got no equipment on me so I'm gonna press escape and then S and I can get the debug menu so from here I can give myself any item from the game and spawn stuff in so I'm going to give myself an artifact that's an anti-radiation one, an armoured suit to show you how that works, layer under outfits, and then use the weapon one, weapon rifle, to give myself a gun. So that's all very straightforward. You can pretty much use it, add yourself anything in with this. I don't know if there's a way with this I haven't played around m enough yet to work out if you can actually put the upgrade properties on, or if you just need to take the gun with a lot of money to... um mechanics to have them, like a weapon smooth and have them upgraded that way, but you can do it that way. So now I'm also going to show you how to spawn in the vehicle. Just basically do control S, go to vehicle, and then spawn in the vehicle you want. Some work better than others, but all of them are very buggy. You can see here the front sort of bumpers fallen off there. Um, but anyway, you have to get close to the door and press F to get in. With some vehicles you can't get in properly, so you have to jump around spamming F so they work. Once you're in the vehicle, press O to turn on the engine, and you can drive them around. And like in Oblivion Lost, when vehicles were first added to Stalker, they're very buggy, so driving them through the wrong anomaly, or doing the wrong things, and will break the physics and kill you, or just do silly things to the game, which can be quite fun. Um, you can also spawn in anomalies using this. Uh, some things seem to spawn alright, others don't. But you can see here I spawn in the um, sort of damaging anomaly field, and that's sort of quite fun to mess about with. So here I'm using the consumable menu to spawn in medkits, you can use those for sort of any item that you can consume in the inventory, ammo comes under the ammo section on here, and now I'm going to spawn in some NPCs. So you can either spawn NPCs in as squads or individual stalkers, although with mutants it seems you have to spawn them in individually. So that's a duty uh, member I spawned, which are neutral to the military, but now I'm going to spawn in mercs, which are hostile. And for some reason he shot me there, I don't know why. Um, so I'll shoot him back. And now, um, just to demonstrate, I'll spawn in a load more mercenaries and show you what happens when you have a load of them there at once. I don't know how you select where to sort of spawn them to, but you can um, have them either appear in theory, I could be spawn elsewhere, but I haven't worked out how to do that yet. So that's them dead and then you can do control s and you have to go to the individual mutant menu to start spawning in mutants so here i spawn in a load of wars um, obviously trying to sort of run around. I'll use one of my mod kits. Um, but then I'm going to um, spawn a load of pseudo guides. There's also some cut content stuff it seems in this menu which is not normally in the game, like a different version of the Chimera. But at the moment I'm just going to spawn a load of pseudo giants which will get me killed in quite a funny way because they'll catapult me into the air. So that's a debug menu. It's fun to mess about with but can cause problems so use it at your own risk.